ECDL Advanced Word Lesson 18 Multi Level Lists. Styles for bulleted or numbered lists can be created to contain up to nine levels. A different format can be assigned to each level. In this exercise, we've been asked to start a new document and from the Home tab, click on Multi Level List. From the bottom of the list, select Define New Multi-Level List. And from here, individual levels can be modified. As can be seen over here, Level 1 is selected. If we drop down the arrow next to Number Style for this level, one of the options we'll have right, at the, right near the bottom is new bullet. Select new bullet and what we'd like to do, I know mine at the moment is on the star or I could go for recently used symbols for a star but either way I'd like you to find a star and then press OK. We'll see now that the level 1 has been changed to a star. Now let's go to level 2 and again we're going to apply a number style of bullet. Now to do this I actually have it set up already which is this one. If you can't find that then select the one saying bullet with a kind of arrow going to the right. That's that one. And press OK. I then want to click on level 3 and this time I want a circle with a cross inside. So what I can do there is to number style for this level, bullet, that's a new bullet, and what I want to do is to find this one or alternatively this which is the same thing. At that point press OK and finally, I want to go into the, the font color. So go for font and go for font color and change the font to red. OK, now if I now type in first, second and third, right now the levels are, have not been set up. They're all at level one. So we, if we select tab just before second and select tab twice before third then at that point what we're doing is providing the bullets for the correct level. Okay we're going to try something else now so I want to click on the page away from the list. The easiest way to do that is to press enter several times until we're clearly not anything to do with this particular list. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so we're going to go now to the multi-level list and from the list library we're going to select the offset number style which is this one here. Now the list is applied but what we want to do is to redefine this list with the number still selected. So what we're going to do is again to drop down the multi-level list and select define a new multi-level list. The style that we've chosen is now available for modification. So let's click on more. Make sure we're starting at 1. So the start off number the start up number is set at 1. Leave level 1 as it is. But on level 2, so I'm going to click to level 2 now, we want to change to a different font. So to do this, we're going to select font, change the font to, we want, uh, we're being asked for Lucinda handwriting. Let me see if I can get there. Okay. And press OK. Level 3, we're being asked for Bradley Hand ITC. And at that point, press OK. And OK again. 
to return to the document. Now, let's type in first, then tab, and then second, then tab again, and this time third. And what we'll see is that these various levels have been set up precisely how we intended.